Hey guys, welcome back to Coin Knowledge. So today we're going to be kind of taking a look at, uh, you know, the Gallo Games ecosystem, what's been going on recently, if you haven't heard about their lawsuit, and uh, I'm going to give you my opinion and, you know, maybe look at other projects, a couple other studios and ecosystems, you know, maybe we can pivot to during this Gallo Games lawsuit times and, oof, is it a big one. So right here, uh, we can look at this article here, alleged 130 million crypto theft rocks Gallo Games ecosystem. So if you're not aware, uh... The two of the three co-founders of Gala Games are suing each other. Uh, obviously, you know, Eric Schreimeyer and Wright Thurston wage a fierce courtroom battle at the heart of it. Uh, basically, Schreimeyer uh, reveals that Thurston alleg allegedly redirected a staggering 8.6 billion Gala tokens in early 2021. He went on and asserted that Thurston subsequently stole or sold the assets for a massive 130 million without the company's go-ahead. So, ah, hate to see that, but Schreimeyer wasted no time. Uh, he did file his lawsuit on August 31st of 2023. In a twist of fate, uh, Thurston did retaliate by suing Sh Schreimeyer, accusing him of taking control of the company and misusing its funds, including acquiring a private jet. The battles cast a sh huge shadow over Gala Games. Obviously, not what you want to see uh, in an in a project, you know, obviously two of its three founders suing each other, especially over stolen funds, misusing funds, company funds, especially something as big as Gala Games, which I would argue, we've talked about it so many times on this channel, and I would argue that Gala Games was one of, if not the most anticipated, you know, gaming ecosystem in the crypto gaming sector. So to see a project like this take such a big blow, I think is really going to cripple the whole space as a whole, pretty much, just because it's like... Wow, he did not expect this out of Gala Games, and it, it's unfortunate. But yeah, the glaring significance of transparency and security. We're just going to uh, read a quick blurb uh, on this article, and then we'll go into the rest of the projects. And again, kind of my thoughts on where do we go f where do we go from here. Uh, but obviously, again, two of the three co-founders, so there's still a third one holding out hope. Nah, it's, it looks bad. But these principles do lie at the core of the blockchain technology. Uh, obviously, it goes into a little bit more. And I'll link this article in the description below if you're a little bit more interested in exactly what happened. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, the, the lawsuit's still continuing. It's ongoing. Uh, if you're familiar with any kind of lawsuit like this or in general, they go on for quite a while. So I don't expect this to come to a close at any time soon. But if you look at the one-month chart on Gala Games, I mean, right now, you know, lawsuit aside, if there wasn't a lawsuit and... We're looking at Gala Games chart right now. I'd you know be snatching it up. I'd be accumulating because around that you know one and a half uh, cent range, especially with a market cap of about 340 million, for what this project was before prior lawsuit, I would say you know darn that that's pretty cool. Pretty cool seeing, but no, nah, I mean obviously you know if we look at August, you know we're looking you know right around. If we look here, we're looking at you know we were encroaching about half a billion market cap. And then we just started plummeting after the lawsuit. I mean, it has been just a sea of red. And I think that Gala Games is going to continue to bleed just because not a whole lot of great news going on within the Gala Games ecosystem right now. Uh, obviously, uh, this is a pretty big deal for the lawsuit between the two own or two founders. And even if it does get resolved, I, I mean, I, I don't think Gala Games is going to go away anytime soon, obviously. I think Gala Games as a project is still making quality stuff. You know, their games are still fun to play. They still have the, you know, their different ecosystems within the Gala, Gala uh, umbrella, you know, like the music, film, and games. So I think Gala Games, or just Gala, is here to stick around, and it's going to be fine long-term. And I emphasize long-term because, again, these lawsuits get dragged out. So, but, but if we look at Gala Games, you know, obviously where they've been at in the past, where they're at now, I think that it's clear that... A lot more blood is to be shed here. It's going to bleed a lot more. I would not be shocked if we see this thing go under a penny, uh, which would put us at, I would imagine, maybe a quarter, uh, quarter billion market cap, maybe lower. Uh, just off the top of my head, I'm not totally uh, sure, but just around there. But I think it's going to continue to bleed. But again, uh, yeah. if you have high conviction in Gala Games and you keep up to date with the lawsuit, if you start to see positive news coming out of it, I can see this project turning around definitely uh, in a bull market for sure. But in the short term... Uh, one that I'm definitely kind of staying away from at this time, which I thought I would never say about Gala Games, but obviously it's crypto, things happen, this stuff happens out of nowhere, but shocking. But if we look into, you know, some other ecosystems, I think we can see that some investors are even pivoting their money towards or kind of looking towards in the replacement of Gala Games or in lieu of their positive development. You know, Magic, obviously, you know, Magic 
is a, a big gaming ecosystem on the Arbitrum chain. And Arbitrum has really cooled off this year. Uh, you know, launching earlier, it has cooled off quite a bit. Uh, but I would say that Magic is one that I am looking at. Uh, I'm not accumulating at this time, and none of this is financial advice. It's just my opinions on the whole situation and other potential uh, replacements or opportunities to look at uh, besides Gala. But it's, it is one that I am going to be watching. It is on my watch list, especially when a you know, crypto gaming bull cycle happens again or even the Arbitrum narrative takes off again, and it will. It will in the future. And again, Magic is doing some pretty cool stuff over in their uh, ecosystem. Vulcan Forge, definitely one that we've talked about so many times on this channel because it's, it is definitely near and dear to my heart. Uh, I do look at Vulcan Forge almost every day, uh, especially, you know, if we're looking at what happened to Gala Games, you know, we're looking at around that August 31st, uh, and you, know, you see that people really shifted to Vulcan Forge, and they had the news of, you know, obviously they're doing uh, another marketing strategy where it's going to put Vulcan Forge in the face of, you know, millions of households, and I think it was something to do with the, a TV show broadcast, which ah, mixed opinions on, but that's, you know, a topic for another video, but that's what Vulcan Forge has going on over there, but obviously, when you look at their ecosystem, you know, with their Elysium gaming blockchain, with their Vulcan uh, nodes, you know, with all the games that they have under their umbrella, all their development, uh, their Metaverse, or Metascapes, Metaverse as a Service, everything that Vulcan Forge is building, I think, is solid, and, you know, we've seen really throughout this, you know, bear cycle, bear market so far that, you know, around that 3 to $4 range has really been holding strong. Uh, so, I mean, I think accumulation really, if you have high conviction of Vulcan Forge, it's something that I would definitely be looking at right now. Because, uh, again, I don't think Vulcan Forge is going anywhere, and I think this thing is going to rip in, an, in a bull market, uh, certainly. Because, again, their quality is just tenfold over this bear market. It's one of my favorite teams and studios in the whole crypto gaming space. So... Vulcan Forge can never go wrong. Nakamoto Games, one I don't talk about often, but one that I am always looking at. Uh, yeah, again, obviously, August, 30, August 31st, that gala crucial date, we can see people definitely started pivoting into like these other gaming ecosystems. And obviously, they have their own news going on as well. But, I mean, we're seeing Nakamoto Games just keeps on going. This whole market, I mean, they have not taken a break. You know, their team is constantly working. Uh, I don't think... Pretty sure all the development uh, the team has paid for out of pocket, so that's definitely something to take note of, and I think it's very rare in this space. So it's the team's been nonstop building, but we've seen them climb like almost 10x from you know the beginning of the year, almost like a 10x. So I personally would love to see this project cool off a bit, especially when we're looking at you know if we're looking at the beginning of the year, we we're sitting around like a five million dollar market cap. Now we're a 40 million dollar market cap. I mean, still obviously a low cap for sure. I mean, there's no arguing that, but it is something where I wish this project would cool off a little bit before re-entering, but that's me though. But again, another gaming ecosystem that I think is going to do totally well uh, given a bull cycle, uh, whether it be crypto gaming or just overall crypto bull market. I think Nakamoto Games is here for sure to stay. And Myria, you know, one that we talked about and when it launched, obviously it launched in a bear cycle, so the token hasn't been doing whole lot of positive action but the project is still around and it is something i do look at it uh you know every so often i do think miria again is also gonna do very very well uh again they have so many games on their ecosystem and their games actually do look pretty quality uh for the most part especially when we're looking at other uh you know gaming ecosystems i think miria is definitely one to still keep your eye on still have it on your watch list especially if you're looking more of that niche down crypto gaming uh, low cap tokens i think it's definitely one that I would still have my eyes on, and I still do. I just think that Myria, you know, they're going through their node emissions right now from when they launched. So I think that Myria is definitely one where, given a bull market, crypto gaming bull cycle, I think Myria, especially with this low of a market cap, is just going to, you know, melt faces. But I do think, given right now, currently, I think it would take uh, pretty much a crypto gaming bull run to kind of see that positive price action uh, really shift on Myria. But again, that's me though. But if we look August 31st, you know, people are still shifting into these other uh, platforms, you know, getting out of Gala. Just because again, when your two or your three founders sue each other, nobody wants to see that. And it makes the whole space look bad, in my opinion. And again, really shocked uh, to see this by Gala Games. But let me know in the comments below, you know, what are your opinions on this whole Gala Games debacle? 
Uh, is it something that you're still holding Gala Games? Is it something you're exiting and maybe going to re-enter in the future? Or are you just done with Gala Games? You know, we went over a couple alternative options today. Let me know in the comments below what you think of each individual one. If there's other ones we should be looking at, let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments below. And otherwise, uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated on this whole thing, on this lawsuit. If there is any updates or positive uh, news, really, don't want to be a downer. But uh, otherwise, you guys can like the video, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, see you guys.